So the other day I made a video where we took a look at a concept for Windows 12 Mobile by a YouTube user AR4789. You guys seem to enjoy that video. It got actually more views than I was expecting and people seem to have a good time watching my reaction to that. So in this video, we're gonna look at another one of this person's videos. Again, just like last time, I'm gonna put a link to the original video in the description down below. Go click on that and watch the entire thing. If you watch me reacting to it, you need to go watch the full video on their channel so that they get some credit for that as well. With all that being said, this is their concept for Windows 12. Again, AR4789. Let's jump into this and take a look. So we've got like a Lenovo splash screen here, which I actually appreciate because I think that they're just trying to keep this as realistic as possible. Like this is very believable as being a normal computer. So this, I guess, would be sort of like your lock screen. You've got some status stuff up top. You've got the time in a very Android-esque sort of way date some weather and then like a notification thing maybe down there at the bottom i think that this looks totally fine again kind of an android looking thing we've swiped up to dismiss it this is very similar to what we already have and i think they've added some things here to the top and the right this though is the actual home screen and this looks very very interesting so up here we have a universal search type here to search that's a very cool thing as Bing becomes a bigger and bigger thing, in particular with Bing chat, having that right there, type in hopefully, you know, Bing's uh, chat GPT type integration occurs right there in that box. We have weather up here in the top left, instead of being on the status bar in the bottom left, which is fine. We're going to talk about the status bar in a second. And then we also have sort of other status things up here in the top right. And the reason for that is because the status bar is no longer going all the way across. It's centered almost like a Mac OS style dock. Now this is actually interesting because I do the same thing on my Windows 11 desktop using a third party app. As you can see, there's a very similar thing going on. Now this is on my right screen, so I can't show you all of this, but if I hovered my cursor over here, I would get my status stuff kind of popping up in a similar looking pill shaped thing to what we have here. So that is actually something I quite like the aesthetics of, and I'm kind of doing something similar now. Okay, the start menu. There's a big bunch of changes there, and I think I probably like this better than the current start menu. Maybe we could get rid of the recent items altogether because I just think that's just annoying and in the way, but I like having the most used alphabetical pint apps. I think that's another pretty good improvement actually. So that's an interesting touch there. I'm guessing they probably scroll wheeled to get more of the recent items. Again, maybe this is a thing that you enjoy having the recent items thing. It's not something I ever use and it tends to just be there cluttering up my start screen. Clicking on the weather thing up to the side, that gives us the widget panel. Oh, this is a good one. So we're actually dragging the widgets off of the widget panel and onto the desktop. Fantastic. This is something that I don't know why we don't have in Windows 11. They've done things like this in the past. So just make it a thing in Windows 11. If you're going to have, like widgets are cool, but tucking them away in a panel where you're you're probably going to forget that they're there. I never use the widgets panel. Put them on the desktop. Make more widgets first off, because the ones that we have just aren't all that useful and all that plentiful. But if we can get enough of them that are pretty good, the ability to actually move them into or onto the desktop, I should say, would be really, really useful. And of course, they're showing a lot more, you know, potential customization things here for the widgets in that panel. And there you go, dragging these things around. You can put one on the side. That's really, really good. So opening up Edge, definitely a different look to Edge, which kind of matches the aesthetic of the rest of the operating system. I think that that's pretty decent. I like the kind of transparency effect there up at the top. Different animation for closing things. That is definitely not what things look like now. That's pretty cool. File Explorer, again, keeping a very consistent vibe. I'm digging the animation so far. I don't know that I totally love the look here. There's a little bit of a weird thing going here with this tab. I may be nitpicking, but there's sort of like a, like maybe this tab should be slid over just a hair further. Probably nitpicking there, but still. The aesthetic is, is very, very different from what we're used to with current windows. Mouse down at the bottom taskbar pops back up. That's interesting. So it actually fully is hiding the taskbar and only popping back up if your cursor goes down there to the bottom. I think that's a pretty cool implementation as well. Oh, and again, cursor up to the top and the uh, search thing actually popped down. So you could use that search 
in whatever app you're in. It could actually just pop down over the top of whatever app you're using. I actually like that a lot. These are smart little things that if these are going to be you know meaningful parts of the system, it's going to make sense to be able to access them wherever you might be. Dark mode looking quite good as well. I, I'm personally I'm a big fan of dark mode in general, so I think that this probably does look a little bit better. Oh, and this is an even darker look, a darker purple look, which is blacking out a lot of things. Looks like a lot of customization. This kind of reminds me of like Ubuntu at this moment, probably because of the colors and the color of their icon. It's got a very Ubuntu look to it, which is a distribution of Linux if you're not familiar. Okay, we're going to take a look at that search thing now. And at first off, it showed recommended applications, which I think is smart. Optimized window personalization. So, okay, so this does appear to be some of that Bing chat stuff that they actually showed off with Copilot. So definitely a smart implementation of that as well. And in much a similar fashion to their Windows 12 mobile concept, they're having a little bit of fun here. What, what would be a Windows concept with a new Windows has stopped working blue screen of death type thing in the concept itself? Very funny, just like last time. So there you go, guys. I think that that's a pretty revolutionary look to Windows 12. And I mean, it may not be that far from the truth when Windows 12 actually does come out. Because if you remember, there was a weird leak in a presentation that Windows did several months back. There was like one slide where there was this very strange looking desktop of what appears to be Windows 11, and I have it on pretty good, reliable sources, that that's actually what Windows 12 at that moment looked like in their experimentation. I'll actually just pull this up on my own video because that's the quickest place I can find it. There's a lot of similarities here, right? You've got your bar up here at the top. You've got widget stuff over here, status stuff over here. Of course, they've changed the task bar down below, but a lot of this other stuff is very, very similar. You can see here though that the task bar is floating. It's actually lifted up off. There's a gap down below. I would actually like to see it condensed down because there's a lot of empty space along the side. So I think a combination of what we've just seen in this concept and this would make a lot of sense. And then it's difficult to read because it's kind of blurry, but that is definitely a type here to search thing. You've actually got some calendar stuff popping up there as well. So again, this concept is cool and it might not be that far from reality. Again, guys, I'm going to drop a link to that concept video in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.